What's going on boys and girls? Welcome back to another solo leveling arise video. All right guys, some of you have been asking me to go over the blessing stones again because we've got a couple new ones. Uh, so I'm not gonna do a tier list, but what I will tell you guys is the best blessing stones for certain situations and why you should be using them when you possibly can. So let's go over the two new ones and where they're, they're gonna be proficient. So the first one, we are one, is actually incredibly strong especially when you're using it in the guild battle or POD. So this is one of the primary ones you should be using throughout. Now this is my free to play account. So I've got a couple legendaries, but not very many. But of course we can go through them anyways. Uh, so we are one is going to be used primarily any raid bosses. So battlefield of chaos, battlefield of, um, sorry, uh, battlefield of chaos, POD, and guild bosses so these are going to be the primary ones used for those anything outside of that you really don't use it that often because there's way better options out there uh but this here for raid purposes is one of the best ones now swift strike is an interesting one okay so when you do extreme evasion successfully your damage increases by 16 percent for five seconds believe it or not damage increase by 16 percent is actually pretty huge because if you look at legendary boss there it does give you 20 percent, but it also reduces your dash right so this one can be done a lot more often even though the cooldown is 10 seconds you have to remember extreme evasion or shadow step even also has a cooldown right so ideally you want to do uh extreme evasion shadow step and then this will still be active while you're doing the shadow stuff it'll give you about like three more seconds worth of damage so the only downfall for this is the cooldown is a little bit long versus the actual seconds i would have liked the legendary one to be at least like 10 seconds 10 seconds so almost up time all the time that'd be kind of cool because there is a downtime to dashes and there is a down downtime to shadow step so it would have been nice to have this a little bit more time wise maybe even seven seconds would have been nice to have a three second cooldown only between the two of them but this is not a bad option if you don't have a lot of the like the boss layer ones boss layer is still better overall but this is not a bad option and can be used pretty much throughout any content in the game story mode POD doesn't matter, but there are better options. Okay, so personally, Swift Strike is okay. Again, with the legendary, I would have liked to see seven seconds or even 10 to just maximize it. This also does depend on your dashes, right? So if you have like boss layer where your dash cooldown is longer, this is gonna be harder to use. So keep that in mind, but you also can use Swiftness to, to increase the time because of the extra dash for someone like Wula's support to give you guys more dashes to allow you to do more evasions and then in turn giving you pretty good damage. So that's not a bad one. Uh, Assassin's proficiency actually is becoming better and better. Overall, this is probably one of the best ones for POD because POD does do back damage pretty much, I think, through all content. I think the hands at the very least. I'm not sure about the head 100%, but I do know the hands are considered back damage whenever you use them. Fatal Strike, still not that good. Not a big fan of it, personally. Uh, weakness Detection, one of the best ones in the game. As long, Remember, this only applies only applies when you are fighting a unit where you have the elemental advantage on it doesn't work if there's no so on neutral days on pod for example this is useless do not use it there's no advantage when you see white damage bars only this is not usable okay this is only useful when you're fighting against stronger elementals uh, weapons that you have or skills okay outside of that it does have its limitations all right swiftness incredible really really powerful especially with the plum sword that's when you ideally want to use this double edged sword very very strong as well too can get a lot of attack power out of it but keep in mind also you will take more damage from there as well too uh, because the target that you hurt will also gain stacks of attack as well too so it's like a dub that's why it's called double edged sword very very strong though one of the better ones out there for dps boss layer all bosses i use this for every boss the only time i don't use it is guild battles because you're a support unit but outside of that this is pretty much used throughout all of content for me i love it um chains of blood is really 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 strong like really 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 strong the problem with chains of blood is you also got to take a lot of damage for it to activate so lowering your hp if you're good at dodging and you're good at keeping alive this is one of your strongest dps blessing stones in the game period all right so i would definitely go for that conqueror of adversity also another really strong one every time you lose 25 percent hp you gain your attack defense and hp by five percent stacking up to three times so you can get a total of 15 percent this is where this is actually one of the better ones again if it were if you have chains of blood we're using this in tandem is a very very good option it'll keep you it'll keep your dps in check for a very long time and you'll be able to destroy content with these two so these two paired together are incredibly incredibly strong okay uh wolf assassins only really good for bot or anytime there's only mobs and story modes extra damage on mobs is nice the 20 percent damage is fantastic but again the moment you fight a boss or an elite this becomes useless keep that in mind so great for clearing ads and and only add levels all right uh pulverize all right this is a, this is an interesting one so you'll do more break damage to your to the opponent so the break bar will go down faster 
We'll deal more damage in the break effect. So that's when the opponent is down for that few seconds and they pop up. But then that damage is gone. All right. So really, really good for POD. Uh, really good for anything that can break multiple times. So like Igress and stuff who have multiple break bars, these are very strong. But anything that has a one-time break bar, not as good. Because the moment they stand up from that breaks, break status, that extra 30% damage is gone, as is the break status. So this is only really good for multiple uh, recovery break bars. That's when I would use this. Camouflage, easily the best survival one in my opinion. Every time you take a certain amount of damage, you gain back damage. Uh, Bloodlust, super, super important. Does stack with Shadow Step and other defenses. This is an extra way to shred more defense. Up to 12% guys for every 6 seconds. Uh, really, really strong. Highly, highly, highly recommend this one pretty much on any run. If you're lacking crit or you need to increase past the 50%, Sharp Perception is amazing. Can stack up to six times at three percent at the legendary phase reawakening no brainer Be using it for any guild runs uh any pod's anytime you use west wind anytime you use ms daggers anytime you use plump store pretty much anytime you use anything to to lower the cooldown by 20 percent is pretty insane right um what else mana rampage really strong problem is you do consume mana very quickly which will kind of cost you cost you quite a bit and then um kasaka steel scales i find are actually really good for survival they've given you extra power on shields extra damage reduction so this has actually become fairly useful and then advanced uh, technique dagger 14 percent extra damage whenever the opponent has 70 percent or less this is really good but also the caveat is if they have smaller hp bars the more hp bars the harder this is to activate so sometimes this is not the greatest dps one to use but if you have an opponent without a break bar and you get them to 70 percent this is a raw 14% extra damage you do, period, right? These are the two here. Mm, not very good. I wouldn't recommend using these personally, all right? So there you guys go. Those are the Blessing Stones. So if we're going to go to the top five, my favorite top five, here's what they're going to look like, all right? It's going to go one, two, three, four, and five. Those are my current top five. If you go top six, I'd probably throw in Camouflage or Pulverizer in there uh top eight reawakening so one two three four five six seven eight those are the ones i'd probably stick with if you have those those are pretty much used throughout the entire game if you have this use it in pod and in guild uh in the guild boss okay those that this is where this one really really shines so a lot of people are specifically asking for those two the other ones that I've used very like sharp perceptions incredible like the ones I pretty much named that are all really really good but I have my own preferences based off of what I do for content and those are my favorite ones. I'm not going to do a tier list on this. A lot of people have been asking me to do a tier list. It just doesn't make sense to do a tier list because there's so much uh, content out there that you can mix match and put all these together and make really good combinations out of them that there really isn't a best one. It's more like what's your favorite right what do you use it for mostly so for me personally it's all based on content the one that i could always 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 rely on is reawakening and bloodlust like in terms of like overall usage um but the other ones here again if i use the plum sword i'll use this if i don't use the plum sword i don't use this if i use it if i fight a boss i'll use this if i don't fight bosses i don't use it at all right if there's no elemental weakness to say i'm using westwind for non-elemental days then this makes no sense so again as powerful as some of these are there's always a situation where you can use something else to make up for it and that's why a tier list for something like this doesn't make any sense all right guys this is pain let me know what your favorite ones are in the comment section i'll see you guys in the next one take care